Ladies and gentlemen, let's now get ready to welcome out our two boxers for the next bout of the evening. First of all, it is a ring warm time. Let's make some noise as we welcome out the man boxing out of the red corner, making his way to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome William Korovawiri. some noise as we introduce to the ring boxing out of the blue corner his name Matty Abdullah's looking to make it four from four in his young professional career. Taking on the debutant, William Korobwiri. At the super lightweight limit, four three minute rounds, Barry. Yeah, well, you look at uh, William uh, Kar Karawiri, he certainly looks in great condition, looks very confident. Uh, we've seen uh, Matty Abdullah's fight, we know he can fight, we know he can punch. Uh, three wins, two, two by KO. But uh, you see uh, Terry Devlin in the corner there with uh, William uh, Kar Karawiri, and he's looking very confident and very fit indeed. Both boys uh, really well put together, not an ounce of fat on them promises to be an exciting four round fight the super lightweight limit let's go up to our ring announcer steve pios ladies and gentlemen moving on to the next bout of the evening the following contest scheduled for three minute rounds of action we are at the super lightweight division limit proud sponsor of this bout is the mma fight store the number one choice for all of your martial arts apparel visit them mmafightstore.com.au 
you. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first tonight, boxing out of the red corner. This man wears blue and black trunks. He weighed in 62.8 kilograms. His record is a debutante this evening. Amateur record, four wins, two losses. Trained by Terry Devlin. He boxes out of the Southern Cross Boxing Gym. Based now, Western Sydney, but hailing originally from Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm Bula Vinaka for William, the Candyman, Korovawiri. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time to introduce his opponent. This man boxes out of the blue corner. This man wears the black trunks, tip the scale, 63.15 kilograms. Professional record reads perfect. Three fights, three wins, two big wins. Coming by way of knockout. Trained by Christian Anor. He boxes out of the real deal. Boxing gym, ladies and gentlemen, the man from Moorabbin. Right here, Melbourne, Victoria. Let's hear it for Matty Abdullah. When the action gets underway, your referee, Ignatius Misalidis. I, I spoke to you in the change room, you know the rules. Obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves and good luck. Very experienced Ignatius Misalidis, third man in center ring. And we're about to get underway. Four three minute rounds at the super lightweight limit. The very exciting Matty Abdullah in the black trunks. Come weary with not just colorful trunks, Barry, very colorful hair. Very colourful hair. It's, uh, it's uh, yeah, it's sort of a purpley blue, but uh, very actually blue. matches his trunks. <laughs> Certainly outstanding. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see here what the Fijian brings in the opening uh, stanza. Certainly showing no signs of nerves. No, on professional up. debut. No, walking up. Uh, obviously got amateur experience. Knows how to hold his hands up. Letting his hands go freely in the opening seconds. But uh, Matty Abdul is just having a look at him at the moment, having a look at his opponent. Nice and cool and calm. Rob Weary, very athletic, keeping his hands low a lot of the time. And swinging right hand there, caught Abdul is just a little off guard. A little off balance, should I say. Yeah, well, at the moment, uh, Matty Abdul is keeping his hands held high nice and tight just waiting he's biding his time having a look at his opponent now he's starting to let him go a little bit nice left rip to the body from matty abdoulas couple of great body shots there from abdoulas for the first time he starts to stalk forward there's that little left rip again oh, yeah. Guard came oh, out there. Yeah, William Kurabuiri oh, lost his mouth guard. Um, back in the old days, if you lost your mouth guard, it was just bad luck. You just had to keep fighting until the bell rang. Which you know, if you want to rest these days, just spit your mouth guard out. Yeah, it's used as a uh, used as a tactic these days. I don't think it was on that occasion. To be fair, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Looks, uh, looks an evenly matched fight this from oh, that, the early exchanges yeah I, but i think you can see abdul's is working him out landed a good left hook he's hurt yeah, he he's wobbled the that wobbled him maddie abdul's will stop this bloke i think he's just starting to, his timing is impeccable and he's just starting to pick his shots <laughs> that hurt him short left hook well, it was a crisp shot Abdullah's taking his time though. He's got fast oh, hands. Oh, There's Abdullah's. Abdullah just oh, warming oh, into it. Good second half of the round, landing some clean shots. A beautiful clean left hook made it wobbled his opponent. And some of the early confidence shown by Cole oh, Weary is uh, not as evident now. Oh, sneaky uppercut there from Abdullah at the end of that exchange. Abdul is working the jab, looking, looking for his openings. 
for me, for Abdul, is this is a feeling out round and he's, uh, and he's landing good shots here. Chris Bartlow's oh, around the side yeah. of the guard as good, well. Beautiful body shot. That's the end of oh, the round. Trying to follow back, but Abdul's yes, dominated that last minute. Absolutely of dominated. Third bout of the view in this bout currently brought to you by the MMA Fight Store, Australia's largest supplier of combat sports equipment. Visit them online, mmafightstore.com. So, Matty Abdulis, it's his uh, first fight since December last year when he stopped the tie. Sananthon at the Melbourne Pavilion in the second round. Not sure why he hasn't been active so far this year, though. But yeah, good question. I, you know, I suppose, you know, promotions have been stopped up. You know, it's, it's been hard to get along on a lot of shows. And also, you know, hard to find opponents as well. But uh, I, I think Matty Abdulis took control after about a minute. And I think this guy, I reckon, William Corolari, is going to be in quite a bit of strife in the next couple of rounds. Second round of a scheduled four. Abdul on our unofficial scorecard. Round two. Bank the first round with a dominant last 60 seconds. Cold Weary had uh, started confidently and impressively, but an excellent short clubbing left hook midway through the round certainly turned the tide. It sure did, and some good clean body shots to the uh, okay. right side of Cold Weary's body, which they take their toll. The candy man, they call him, William Korovawiri. It's a bit hard to pronounce for me, that one, Bruce. Maybe you just stick with the candy man. He's, uh, I, think I, I think it's the candy man. He's got something about him, whether he's got the punching power to get the respect yeah! of Abdullah who That's a lovely combination, wasn't it? Upstairs Good combination. Abdullah's just biding his time. You know, boxing very professionally for me. And uh, looking for his openings. The Teach, teaching composure wouldn't be an easy thing to do with the adrenaline coursing through the body. Yeah, well, it's basically, it, it comes down to, <coughs> to training, really, and just, you know, getting your mind in that mindset that you've got to be calm. And He's lost the, the mouth guard the again, mouth I think. It's come out again. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Yeah. It, it, and Ignatius Missalit, as you can see, yeah, he's laying down the law on this yeah. occasion. Once he gave him the benefit of the doubt in the first round. I don't think so much on that occasion. Now, if he, if he does it again, he could possibly lose points there, and fair enough, too. <laughs> Abdul is just warming into the task. Nice, tight defence. Got a good kit of punches as Abdul's, and he doesn't just go head hunting, he's happy to go downstairs, yeah. although on that occasion, bounces the right hand off the chin of Korobwiri. Candyman being backed up now. Not as aggressive as he was in the opening round. There's Abdul's up and down. Bit of desperation coming into it, I reckon. Shakes his head, Abdul, as if to say, you didn't touch me there, which I don't think he did. Big bolo right hand there from the Fijian. Yeah, didn't land. Good defence from Abdul. He's very tight with his defence. Nice timing. Precision. Oh, beautiful left hand. Yeah, he it. staggered just momentarily, then Got round it. the side of the guard. Abdul's on the attack. There's that body shot again. He felt that. Up and down, beautiful work. Those body shots are taking their toll as well. Yeah, really man. starting to break. Korobiri down now. Pouring on the pressure as Matty Abdulis. This is impressive stuff. It's really impressive. And the candy man in a lot of trouble. Up and down, beautiful. Jab the head right the body. It's a punch that doesn't look spectacular, but it takes it out of your opponent big time. Good body puncher, Abdulis. That winging right hand round the side of the guard of the Fijian as well has found a home right on the left ear. Ignatius Missalidis warns the candy man for That's pushing one of our best round referees. Two hands to go, ladies and gentlemen. Both in our boxes. Well, two rounds down, round and Matty Abdulis has uh, wild banked wild both wild. of them, growing in confidence as this fight unfolds. Undoubtedly, well ahead.
Birmingham, Corrib Weary on debut. Halfway through this four rounder, and he's down two rounds to zip. He's down two rounds, and he's been hurt a couple of times. And I think if Abdullah's you know, lift, lifts the level, which I'm sure he will, he, he'll get his opponent out of there. So we turn the corner and head for home. Two down. We're into the into the third of four. Super lightweight limit. Opening bout of the uh, professional part of the card tonight. We've had two very entertaining corporate bouts. Oh, oh, right hand. Right oh hand he's heard of weary. He's heard of Dewis. He was wobbled badly yeah. there. He was caught flush on the chin. Absolutely. That came out of the blue. So he's got the power to hurt you, this guy. Oh. He's then unleashes a left almost through that from his hip. Yep. Abdul has come back nicely with the jab. Wow, that's that was that was yeah, surprised me. He had Abdul is hurt there. Yeah. Certainly as we go oh, a good left hand there from Abdullah. He's clearly regained his equilibrium, but he was stunned. He was. It was a bit of a shock to him as, as well as us, I think. He just came out of the blue. Just shows you you can never be complacent in there. And, and, you know, so you're only always one second from disaster. Yeah, it's one of the great lines, isn't it? It is, isn't it? So true. In Corriba Weary, can he follow it up now? Can he land something else of substance to really not just get the attention, but turn the tide in this one? Oh, great straight right hand into the midriff of the Fijian. Shakes his head as if to say it didn't hurt, but I think it did. He's pinned in the corner at the moment. Is the candy man in the neutral corner right above our commentary position. Big right hand there. Abdul, it's on the attack now, putting pressure on. Candyman fires back, but ineffective. Abdul is certainly a little more circumspect now that he was being tagged yeah. with that big shot early in the round. True, Bruce. He's really, you know, he hasn't really let his hands go. He's changed to southpaw at the moment for Saw him do that just for a split second earlier, but um, the first time he's really stood in the southpaw position. For, oh, well, the candy man the takes slip. a slip. Yeah. <coughs> Matty Abdul is back to the orthodox stance, turns southpaw for about 30 seconds. Looking for that opening. I think Abdul would like to get him out of here if he could. And I thought he was going to, but he, set, he slowed up a bit this round. He's, as you said, after that big right hand, he got caught with his probably a bit more cautious. Oh, look, the left hook. He's in all sorts of strife. Cole Weary is covering up. That was a beautiful left hook. That's Only a, 10 seconds to go in the round, Baz. I think he'll hang on. I would have loved to have seen that in slow motion. That was beautifully timed. Flush on the chin. Oh, good. And he gets out of the round, but he was tagged heavily in that final 15 seconds. That was a classic, beautiful left hook pinpoint shot. So, another very evenly matched fight. Abdullah's clearly ahead, but he was just got a general reminder early in that round. He certainly did. He has got some tricks, the uh, Fijian we see on screen at the moment. For sure, William the Candyman, Corrible Weary, has certainly got some power. He's dangerous. So this isn't uh, Terry Devlin's only fighter he's got on the card tonight. A couple of fights time, he's got another debutante in C.O. Andrews, who will fight at Cruiserweight against the, uh, the vicious punching Vita Pamali. We're really looking forward to that one. But we've got the final round of this bout coming up now. That man in screen, William Korobawiri against Matty Abdoulis. Abdoulis ahead on the scorecards, but he was hurt early in the third round. Yeah, Abdoulis. Can he close the show here, Matty? Well, I think he can if he lands that left hook of his and then follows up straight away, he could get his opponent out of there. But saying that, um, the, the candy man as we know, he's got some power himself in the last round, so he, he might get through it. He's saying, come on, come on, Matty, let him go. Abdul is now bleeding from the nose. Yeah, I noticed he was bleeding pretty heavily between between rounds there in the corner. 
the bulk of those punches from that early onslaught from the Fiji and were taken on the gloves and arms from Avdur, who counted well at the end of the exchange and now darting out the jab. Well, that was more a pouring shot. You know what, that, that one right hand might have seriously injured his nose, Abdulis. You know, that because that, that right hand, because not many punches were landed cleanly prior to that, and he was shaken by it, and his nose has been bleeding heavily since. Good money. Love the fact with Abdulis that he just doesn't go head hunting. He started that combination down low, now the left hook in again, not as clean as some of his earlier left hooks. From the Southport stance, and this, at this stage, he's yeah, he's still in the Southport stance. Back to orthodox now. So when he's a Southport for our viewers out there, he's right foot forward. Orthodox, it's left foot forward. Lead with the left. And if you're a Southport, you generally lead with the right. Over halfway through the fourth and final round. Oh, there's the left hook left again. Left hook again, Barrett. Yeah, but he took that one well. Candyman's going to see the four rounds out. I thought Abdul's would have got him out of there, but the Candyman, beautiful left rip, left hook. Well, that was just pure boxing. Left rip to the body, followed by the left hook. Sweet connection. The Corabuir, he took it well again. Yeah, He's he did. He's got plenty of starch in him. He's got plenty of ticker. He's been wobbled about three or four times during the fight. Closing stages of this four-rounder as Abdullah sticks to the body again. A third time, a fourth Four time. shots. Four body shots. Uppercut. He's got some ticker, the candy man. He's not, he's not going anywhere. Great work right there from Abdullah. Not a lot coming back now. I think the candy man might be just happy to hear the final bell. He misses with a huge right hand, though. He telegraphed that. That was... Love the way Matty Abdulis goes up and down, jab the head, he right, head, jab the head, right the body, left rip, left hook. Beautiful combination. Look, up and down. Final 10 seconds. Been an Abdulis round. He digs to the body, goes upstairs. Oh, that's an excellent four rounds of boxing at the super lightweight limit. Well, I think that would be a shutout, Barry, even allowing for the uh, yeah, big right hand yeah, early in the third. Definitely, Bruce. From Korobwiri. Definitely a shutout. Every judge, I think, won't get, they won't make a mistake here. It's four rounds as if on our unofficial scorecard. Which would make it 40 to 36. It's now in the hands of Martin O'Malley, Brett Manton and Peter Hansen. They're our three ringside judges for all five bouts tonight in the professional part of the card. And regardless of the result, William Corabwiri, we look forward to seeing him in uh, in future cards. Definitely, Bruce. The... I mean, you know, it was his pro debut, and um, you know, like M Matty Abdulis, we know is a you know very good technician, a good puncher. So you know, this man, is, you know, got a bit of a futurist if, if he sticks to the game. That's for sure. Abdulis, we're clearly looking to be a lot more active in 2023. This being just his first fight of the year. Both fighters now. Meeting in centre ring, all in good spirits. Ignatius Bissolid is one of the best referees in the country. Undoubtedly. Having a bit of a smile. And we'll head up to Steve Pios, who has the judges' scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, final round of applause, please, for both of our boxers. Moving on, a magnificent show here. Final round nine, Santura, down fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the decision. Judges Brett Manson and Peter Hansen have scored the contest 40 36. Judge Martin O'Malley scores the contest 39 37. All three judges in favour of your winner by unanimous points decision from the Blue Corner, Matty. shut out obviously uh, the 
the third judge gave that third round to uh, William Corrib-Weary, probably on the back Based on of that big point. right hand. Yeah, yeah, probably, but you know, like, I think it was a, it was a pretty technical.